Red Wings closed out 2014 with a 3-1 home victory over the New Jersey Devils on New Year's Eve. The following day, they would embark on their annual Western Canada road trip, a trip that would see the Red Wings travel over 4,000 miles to play three games in seven nights. You know, we're, we're going on a good road trip now. We need, a, we need a good road trip. It's good for our team, the development of our team. I like the direction our team's going. I think, we're, I think we've got a good team. I think we're better than we've played of late. And so now we got to show it, though. There's no, no sense thinking about it or talking about it. we got to do it. Uh, I won't say it's going to be nice to go on the road, but it's, uh, we, haven't, we don't see these trips anymore uh, that often. And, and now we go on the road it's mostly in and out, and you know, now we're going to get a little long trip here. And, and it's going to be good for our group to, uh, to get together and, and spend some time together. Leaving New Year's Day, the club hoped to get into Vancouver to adjust to the time change and get acclimated to being on the road. The flight lasts four and a half hours. While players keep entertained with video games, movies and cards, the club reaches Vancouver. Players and coaches get settled in their rooms for the next four nights. The staff heads with the equipment truck to Rogers Arena to prepare the room for the next two days of practice and their match with the Canucks. 24 player bags, 10 equipment bags, 11 trunks, and two stick bags worth of equipment loaded into the visitor room at Rogers Arena. It takes the staff around a half an hour to move in. The team will hold a practice Friday morning, then a pregame skate Saturday morning in preparation for the game against the Canucks.